Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here and share a couple more thoughts about this whole concept of mystery that I've been studying and researching for a paper that I'm working on a seminary. Um, so, you know, when it comes to the things that we can't fully explain about God, about our faith, uh, about our experience of trusting God and following God, um, questions like, how is God both three and one? Uh, how is it that, you know, Jesus was both God and man? Or how is it that I'm called to trust God and pray, and yet um, I, I know that he already knows everything? Or how is it that such a good and powerful God can allow so much evil and suffering, right? Many questions in our Christian faith that we cannot fully answer, and um, that they, they end in a mysterious element where we are putting together two things that we can't fully reconcile in our reasonable, rational human brain. And when we face these tensions, we feel oftentimes that this is a weakness in our faith, that these are weak links in our Christian faith, and they make our faith less trustworthy, less convincing, less cogent, you know, less put together. And when we talk about our faith to people around, and when they point these things out, we feel like this is an aspect of, these are aspects of our Christian faith that are, that are uh, things that we get embarrassed of and intimidated by. And that's a total misconception. Why? Because the reality is everyone is struggling with mystery. Uh, mystery is unavoidable. Every single worldview, philosophy, idea, belief system, every, all people, if they consistently examine their beliefs, they will realize that their worldview is shot through with mysteries, things that they can't fully reconcile, things that they can't fully explain, right? Even the atheist who will tell you that all he believes in is empirically, scientifically verified facts and, and reason and logic, that person is going to have to answer so many questions that he can't fully explain on the basis of science and facts and, and reason and logic alone. And the person who tells you that, that Christianity is less convincing and less... Um, uh, uh, rooted and, and uh, realistic uh, and, and, and dealing with real life because Christianity has mysterious elements in, its, in, in, in the faith, that person has not fully examined their beliefs. Now, the fact that everybody's struggling with mystery also you know, doesn't mean that everyone's struggle with mystery is equal or the same because there are different ways to struggle with mystery. Most people in our world are struggling with mystery on the basis of their human reason, their logic, their experiences, whatever, you know, podcast, Instagram videos, pop psychology, spiritual books that they're reading, right? And they're trying to just make sense of it. Uh, basically, the dominant perspective and view of dealing with the mysteries of life is using the human mind, using the human uh, experience as a resource, right? The Word of God, the Bible, the Christian perspective tells us something different. It tells us that God has revealed certain things and God has not revealed certain things. And you can struggle with the mysteries of God, but you struggle with those mysteries based on what you already know about God. There's so much that you know about God, so much that he has told you. And, and the things that he hasn't told you, he, ha he wants you to stand on the things that he has told you and to look into the mysteries, make that an opportunity of worship, of wonder, of spiritual growth and development, right? He is not a God that is totally unknown. And so as Christians, we struggle based on what we do know. We look at what we do know. Um, and, and that is a very different way to struggle. When you're struggling with the mysteries of life, you start with what you do know about God. You go back to his word. You get rooted in what he has told you. And you allow that to be a cause of worship and wonder rather than just speculation and theorizing.